Hey, this is not TV. Blah! We ain't playing no games, man. We in the home of the truth. You ain't fucking with the boy knock, man. You ain't doing shit out here. You hear me? Facts. We straight from Chicago to Vegas. Ah. We holding this shit down, man. Ah. We holding it down for the truth, man. Ah. He represent real, nigga. Ah. Fuck with it or get ran the fuck over, man. It's like that, baby. We about war. We about war. Don't make my hitters come to your front door. We about war. We about war. Don't make my hitters come to your front door. Live a life in the war zone, you see it then. War report, Campanori, it's a CNN. Can't see it, and body called and repeat again. Another brother lost, never All right, man. Again. We it's here with my brother Nicole like himself. Master with the craft, craft the master is the teacher now. My brother man. girl grabbed the desert 50 caliber. So, so the people who you are, where you from? Uh, it's too girl when it's hot as no I mean, chill. Sick and it's so uh, ill, we stole to get no frills. So we'll be in it. Let the threats in the building Man, we raw and bout waters Cause we ready and willing Chill you know, Nah Philadelphia You PK with the war You will Home where the brotherhood Born they sell Yeah, it's a story to tell We just on a better route, bro Yeah, we reach But let me tell you What we about, though We about war We about war You know what I mean? Don't make my hitters Come to your front door We about war We about war Don't make my hitters Come to your front door You don't want Alright, so first things first, I mean, like, you don't want war, you don't like, coming up, man. What would you like to be in the car? I don't want to be in the car. I don't want to be in the car. I don't want to You know, just trying to find myself. You know what I mean? Thought I found myself at one point in time. But, you know, I just added to the destruction. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Uh,. You know, I was just like any other brother out here, man. You know, lost. You know what I mean? Getting high, popping and dropping, mm -hmm. selling drugs, fighting, robbing. Right. You know what I mean? All types of dumb stuff. Right. So, so how that how that woke you to the truth? Like, well, how how you how you meet how you meet the UPK? Well, um. We'll sign Christ with Captain Amaya, sure. Shout out to Captain Amaya. Big shout out to Captain Amaya. Good brother. You know what I mean? Big, big brother, man. My mentor. You know what I mean? Help me out. Let me, uh, help me with a lot of things, man. I don't even think he really, you know, how many things he helped me with. You know what I mean? But, um. Right. We'll sign Christ with him, man. Um, we used to, uh, in the world, you know what I mean? We did, we was working together, uh, somewhere downtown. You know, promotion, gig, a man through there. But, yeah, you and you and you and you and Captain Ama used to do the, the like the party joint, right? I used to promote parties, con, right? Con, con, con. You know, we used to, you know, we was in the, uh, the, the nightlight scene. Shout know. out to the nightlife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, listen, man. Well, from to be honest, like when I met him and. You know, uh, took a little break away from everybody. Right. Trying to find myself. You know, I wasn't satisfied. Uh, you know, I was always trying to, I was always searching. I knew it was something, like something scratching. You know, something scratching back your head. You like, this ain't life. This right. This ain't what it's supposed to be. So, it's one of those situations. And um, I think I, I was Muslim at the time. Mm. Typical Philly nigga. Became Muslim. Shout out to all the Philly niggas that's I'm Muslim. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was coming from, uh, I was coming from, uh, I was coming from, uh, I was in college. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to my cousin, we was having a deep conversation about spirituality, mm -hmm. politics. And that's when I saw Captain Amaya Shar. At the time, he was a trooper. He was out of camp. Captain um, Ty Ward, mm -hmm. Captain Mal Quad, Captain Shapar, General, uh, General uh, Hazayim, mm -hmm. you know, heavy hitters, man. You know, they was out there teaching. This is when they was at Liberty Place. Mm -hmm. You know, this is back. Yeah. You talking about, uh, you know, I, um, back when, you know, all the captains really was like officers putting in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at Captain Mike Shard, and I'm like, what is he doing back there with them? You right. know what I mean? I'm like, why right. you, are you back there? Like, I'm looking at him and he can't talk. You know, he can't talk. Right. So, Captain Shapar, 
catch a part from me so I like, hey, you can't talk. You can't, he, he ain't able to talk right now. You can talk to me. And, um, you know, uh. So I'm, I'm guessing Captain Amai was on, like, probably like a young officer, a trooper back then. Straight trooper, all black. Mm. That's what I remember. I remember seeing him all black. Mm. But, you know, I was in the midst of, you know, trying to learn knowledge and stuff like that. And I'm looking at him like, yo, you know, this. I'm looking at Captain. I'm like, hey, hey, you know, this. This, this where it's at. Mm -hmm. You can't say nothing. You know what I mean? You can tell you want to say something like, get, get your ass in class. Right. So they gave me a flyer. Uh, some time, probably like a couple of weeks go by. Um, I, I found a tour. I used to do uh, food uh, giveaways back back then at this church. And I found a tour. You know, I found all these books. I found a tour and I was reading it. And I remember I was like, I was reading it and I was actually reading it. Mm -hmm. And I was realizing that, yo, I got to. Before I really give myself to Islam, I learned about this Bible. Right. And I know it comes before. Right. So I went to class. I was like any other brother. You know, I really wasn't trying to hear the truth. Right. But every time I was coming, I mean, listen, they was cutting the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. Like, you talking about, you know how Captain Top War get down. Yeah, you know, right. right. You know what I mean? Cutting, right. cutting the hell out of me. Uh, Captain Mark Quad cutting the hell out of me, you know what I mean? So I start one day I remember, and they was like, Never forget. And they was hitting me with so many scriptures. I remember I was mad, like, I was steaming, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, kind of got incarcerated mm -hmm. <laughs> a little after that, but um, I remember, uh, being in that prison cell, man, I was going through so much hell around this time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I was going through so much hell, people didn't even realize me, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I was so not myself. I remember right. going into that prison and going into lock, lock, lock up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, when you first hit the gates, and I remember seeing how the white people looked at me. I was like, they the devil, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Uh, so we use an intake? Concert, that's a, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, intake. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, damn, I'm really, these niggas really the devil. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They really, they really own us. You know what I mean? Right. This is deeper than what we think. Right. So, you know, I was in prison for like a month. I'm up in there snapping. Stay you know room. I, mean? I was uh, at George Hill. Oh, he was up in the county? Yep. You know what I mean? I was standing firm on. The Bible, even though I was Muslim, mm -hmm. and they ain't like the fact that, like, you know, what I mean, me being in the world, I'm like sitting at the table with Christians, mm -hmm. and while they read the Bible and all that, I'm, I'm reading it with them. Right. You know what I mean? Muslims got mad at me, so I had to have a shank. That's a long story. Right. You know what I mean? But you know, I just realized, man, like Islam didn't have no brotherhood. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They had it out for me, so I was like watching my back every day. That's crazy. And, uh, they try to set me up. That's crazy because like, yeah. like Muslim, they 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 go with the spirit of brotherhood. Like right. they say that it's brotherhood in there, but it's crazy because you had to have a whack. You had to watch your back yeah. automatically with your own brothers in there. You know man, what I mean? Was, I was little as hell too, man. But you know what I mean? I always got hard on the line, so it was like I'm in that joint. And I'm like, the Lord was revealing so many things to me, man. Like, these niggas don't really got your back, dog. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying, like, ain't no love with Islam. Right. You know, like, they they try to set me up. You know what I mean? They knew I had the banger, and they was close with the COs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they tried to get me bung in, but, you know, I was 10 steps ahead of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, after I got out, I took, you know, I, I went to class. You know what I mean? But I, I still was being weak as hell. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Wasn't being committed. Uh, the time I was coming in, I was... So this is 2015? Yeah. I was coming in, trying to come in strong. Right. Even with all the, the vices that I had, I was still coming in the class trying to fight them. But, you know what I mean? I, I, I suck it out. I was weak. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember that. Right. So, so okay, so explain that time you came in. You came in for a minute, mm -hmm. and then you took a nice little. I mean, for a bag, you took a nice little trip back into the world. Like, like what was going through your mind like around that point in time? Let's just say, like, let's just say, anybody out there that that comes into the school and you dip off. Listen, man, don't never take that dumb cation, man. That dumb cation. Shout that out dumb, to you. You know what I mean? It's almost not crazy. Man. I, listen, don't never, don't never ever take a dumb cation. Mm -hmm. Don't work. It's not good for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got things going on. Just keep fighting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Like, look, no diss. Like, I know you were kind of jammed up at that point in time. I remember seeing you like around the way. You know what I mean? As you know, I was with you the last day that you was in. Remember, we went to the bar. We sitting at the trolley stop. I walk you to the crib, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't personally see you no more after that. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I know you, like I saw you because we was moving around the same type circles. You know what I mean? So I saw you and I seen what you was going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, so my bad, what was, what was you saying? Like, no, it was rough. You know what I mean? You're exactly right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't keep fighting. You know what I mean? Anybody out there that's watching us, keep fighting. Right. You know what I mean? Like. You gotta keep fighting, you know what I mean? Keep coming to class, don't give up. Don't right. lean on to excuses and the pain and agony. Right. You gotta beat the hell out of that, man, because that's what's going to, when you come out that fire, you're gonna be more stronger, more wiser, more knowledgeable than you was before. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because now you defeat that demon with the proper uh, tools that the Lord set out for us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So understand that the IHBK is here for you to help you get through your problems, trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why Commander Jenny Hanna, you understand? Let it let it be known that all his men that fall under him, we make sure that we be a brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you be a sister. Right. You know what I mean? Because like the scripture says, man, paraphrasing, you know. Be a brother because you never know what somebody going through. That's a fact. Be a sister, you never know what somebody going through. That's a fact. Cause we we born in hell. We born with adversities. Mm. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. yeah, man. You know, you definitely was a brother, sir. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All the way through up to now. You know what I mean? Word, but, um, shout out to you. Yeah, I'm Christ, but uh, um, coming into the truth. You know I mean, wrap that, wrap this situation up. Uh, you know, I was with a monstrous female, <laughs> and I was going through all the hell. I mean, listen, you talk about anxiety. I'm like, how the hell I get anxiety? I don't. I ain't afraid of shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Wild. But it was it was crazy. You know, um, I was going through so much, man, and the Lord gave me another chance, and she was the one. The monsters chick, mm -hmm. cause I used to watch the debates and all that, and I be talking about, I'm like, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, Kat Zara just smashed all these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she like, we should go, we should go there. Yeah. And I'm like, let's go. And I remember how light my heart felt when I said, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I remember coming, my first day coming back. Mm -hmm. We talking about feeling like crap. Mm -hmm. Not trying to use the word that I really want to use. No, this is not TV, man. Speak your mind. I felt man. like shit. Yeah. I felt like a piece of shit because right. I had love. I I do love my brothers, mm -hmm. but I wasn't being a brother. Well, I'm gonna tell you, the world is like a magnet. Right. You know what I mean, it's a magnet, and we got metal in this. The world is like magneto. Mm -hmm. And it's trying to pull you in every day, you know what I'm saying? Every so day. look, like, like I mean, like I tell anybody, you took a nice little slip, you know what I mean? They say the, they say the strong man, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but he slipped seven times. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know and I mean, like not not giving you license to slip, but what I'm saying is you caught that, and you right. was able to bounce back, mm -hmm. and you was able to do your thing. You know what I'm saying now you here, officer. Officer uh, 5,000, that's what you at right now. I'm sorry, 500, that's what you at right now. <laughs> so he about to be 5,000. <laughs> that's what What's you at right first, now, man? you know what I'm saying? So you came back and you did your thing. You did your trooper program. You came through, took your mm -hmm. officer test and knocked that out. You was a rough, super duper officer of 50, you know what I'm saying? So now you're at 500 and you got a whole nother path ahead of you. 
You feel what I'm saying? So you did your thing, man. I, I, mean, I take my hat off to you. I mean, even coming back and even taking that. I mean, you had to you had to humble yourself and like you said, you had to bite that and you came back in and still did it. Man, if I could, you know, I remember my first day. And I remember and this son that I probably never spoke about. But the school I used to mumble. Mm. I was, I ain't really talk out loud. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was like a real quiet dude sitting mm -hmm. in the back chilling. You know what I mean? But I was real quiet. So reading out loud wasn't something that I thought I couldn't ever do. Mm -hmm. I mumbled. And back in 2015, when I was coming to class and they had, you know, y'all had me reading, I was breaking through that through that, that barrier that I had. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember they allowed me to read that first day back, back 2018. I remember they saying, speak up. Can't hear you, dad. When I say, I felt like Mike Tyson then sock my collarbone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it felt like Mike Tyson took my jawbone. <laughs> Like, just knocked it straight out because, mm -hmm. like, I felt the shame. Mm -hmm. And I remember how brothers looked at me like, it wasn't in the sense of, like, oh, this nigga. It's like, are right, you back around? What you gonna do? Yeah. You know how we is. Like, yeah. me ain't the Christian church. Like, you know what I'm saying? You rock it or not. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. I'm a cat and a cop, pull me to the side and stuff and all that. And I was just sitting there, I was like, Shh, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. That wasn't the end. Mm -hmm. I go to the Passover. Now, by this time, I probably, like, okay. So I go to the Passover, right? I go to the Passover, it's 2018. And I remember seeing all the brothers and you know the ceremony you know how we do things in the passover 2018 that was when i was in the uh, co-op city concert yeah, yeah bronx new york i remember that and i remember how i felt the shame to the point where i was ready to go home mm. you know what i mean now of course i'm like 125 miles away from my house mm -hmm. <laughs> and i you know what i mean so i can't go nowhere and i'm like you know what Marking this day, I never ever turn my back. I gotta die. You know what I mean? I gotta get put in the box. You know what I'm saying? May the Lord bring me back. I ain't never ever leave my brothers again. I mm. felt like a, I felt like a bitch. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I'm not the type of brother to, to leave leave you hanging. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like the first one swinging. Mm -hmm. and it come down to it. You know what I, mean? I do that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With a smile on my face, I don't care. I step in front of that bullet. Yeah. That's just me. So with me having to sit there and look at all these brothers, and I gotta apologize that I did nut shit mm -hmm. when I was on that social media. You know what I mean? Yeah, you said me on that social media. Yep, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I apologize to brothers and everything, but to prove how tight the brotherhood is, man, I, I did my... I did more than 90 days. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did more than 90 days, and I did it with a, I did it with a smile on my face. I was just happy to be with my brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, eventually, it was like, they gave my name, told me I was a trooper. And that was like, that was like the best day of my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That, was, that was the best day of my life. I'm sitting there, I'm like, they rocking with me. They know I'm rocking. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was like the main thing I wanted. I wanted brothers to be able to trust me, man. Now, yo, now a lot of people don't know this, but on the intro to Knock TV, that's your song right there. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? That's you uh, on that We About yeah, War, We yeah, About War. That's your job. Bring that you shit to your front door. Like, yeah. even with the music, man. Yeah. Listen, even with the music, all I'm talking about, rocking out with my niggas. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Don't make me have to bring the drama to your front door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want war. You don't want war. And you want the outro. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't want those niggas at your front door. Uh 
that's 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 yeah, you know I mean, how did that come about? How you come up with that hook? How you come up with that whole song? What was the that? What was the process like writing that joint? Anybody that know me know me. I'm crazy as hell. Yeah. I don't know. Listen, I'm disciplined, but I'm crazy as hell. I'm I'm the car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I'm I'm me. I don't know how to explain it. So I right. be in my head. I be like, who's that creeping through? I'm like I'm goofy. Bro, <laughs> man. So I, I can't help it, man. And I'm like. 40 on me like on Winslow because uh-huh. Steve Urkel is he- hilarious to me. Like, yeah. Because I. Shout out Carl Winslow. Yeah, man. <laughs> listen, Steve Urkel, listen. Listen, Steve Urkel, number one, I relate to him because I was a little nerd. You know right. what I'm saying? Geek. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man had success with the ladies at one point in time. <laughs> yeah. And then I had. You know what I mean? What was his alter ego? Uh, uh, Stefan. Stefan, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I grew. I, I got some damn courage to me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, I'm like 40 on me like I'm Winslow. Uh-huh. And it's funny people think that I be saying 40 on me like I'm my rent low. It's yeah. not saying yeah. <laughs> Shout out to everybody thinking that he said it's rent low. You know what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> Is is at a good spot right now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, big shout out to you, sir. Yeah. You know what I mean? Engineering, you know what I mean, laying the hot lyrics, even making a video. Yeah. Shout shout out to Mr. J for being on the hood of the car. Yeah, shout oh, out to my pops. <laughs> shout out to Mr. J. He on the hood of the car like this. <laughs> Y'all say shout out shout out to sis too. Yeah, shout out to bud. Yeah, you know I mean, she was up there rocking out too, man. Oh, that was man. a dope video, man. That whole joint right. was crazy. We gonna talk about cops. When we tried. Cops came the out cops there. Cops came. Like, what was the cops doing when they came out? They came out there. Yeah, you know I mean, you know us, straight discipline. You know what I mean? They like, right. oh, we heard shooting. Right. Oh, what officer? We complying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's another thing. If I could, I just want to dedicate this to every Black Hispanic Native American. Yeah, you know I mean, I should be K, man. You know, we the home of the truth. You know what I mean? What we do here, man, is, is something special. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I had to learn it. When you are being pulled over by police or being encountered by police, comply. Mm-hmm. And if you feel as though that they did something wrong in the end, then, you know, you go ahead and, um, you know, you, you file. You know what I mean? You take them to court later. You know what I'm saying? They badge number. They're like, hey, hey, okay, no problem. I gotta get a ticket, no problem. Mm-hmm. And at the end, hey, can I get your badge number? Yeah. All right, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, even with your car, you can have your whole car set up to where the camera, your camera on. You got your license registration and 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 the view. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you know these devils want to kill us. Mm-hmm. Make sure, man, y'all 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 comply. You know what I'm saying? Don't try and be argumentative because this is their kingdom, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't get killed. Yeah, shout out Danya Allah, because Danya Allah, I remember, I remember, I think I looked right at Danya Allah. I was like, you got your drone on you, you got the strap on you. He was like, no, I left it. So we had just, we were going to Jersey that night, too. That mm-hmm. I mean, so shout out Danya Allah, because he was kind of, you know I mean, he was kind of a prophet. He was in profit mode at that point in time. You know what I mean, he seen that drone. Yo, answer that drone, see where he at, man. Hey, Shalom Low Christ. Yo, we on Knock TV, man. We live on Tunk. We live on Knock TV. Coming? I'm driving, man. I'm calling to get out here. Alright. Alright, Shalom Low Christ. Okay. But yeah, so, I mean, shout out, big shout out to Daniel because, I mean, he held it down there too. You know I mean, definitely had the, the L part of the video. You know what I mean? That whole joint was crazy, like yeah. His verse was crazy. Yo, his whole that whole joint was crazy. crazy. Like that song is like uh, I, that song is like a staple now in the UK. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. I kinda that joint hit a thousand views in like four days. Look man, I was listen, when I heard Cat and Cesari I liked the song, I was like, Alright. Nigga, I made it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to you. I know it. Shout out to Ken Cesari. Shout out to Ken Cesari. You said I had that joint on repeat. I was like. Shout out to Captain Ash. Oh, I mean, man. shout out everybody that yeah, hit us up. Shout out all the heavy hitters. Shout out everybody that hit us up for that man. song. You yeah, because I mean? listen, man, like, you know what I mean? I make music. I don't care about, you know what I mean? 
the world when it comes to like my music. You know what I mean? I try to make music t for the brothers in the school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's in the warfare to rock out with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why you know I got we got more flavor here. You know what I mean? We got we gonna hit you with the you know what I mean the bars and then we gonna hit you with some. All right, you want the drill? We got drill. Mm -hmm. You got you want R and B? We got that too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be singing. You got that push come to shove. But if I gotta sing, you know what I'm saying? Push come to shove. Out. Push come to shove. Yeah, man. That's, that's listen. Coming out. Push come yeah, to shove is a heavy drum. You, you know what I mean? Got that work, man. I mean, we'll sign Christ, man. But if I could, you know what I mean? I wanna just thank you. You know what I mean? To, for my heads, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Seeing me fit. You know what I mean? To be raised up to a 500. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I remember, man, I was in the world. Ain't shit. You know what I mean? Still ain't shit. You know what I mean? But like we was talking about in the car, now I'm, I'm serving a purpose. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's an honor, man. Right. To, you know what I mean? Being in these ranks with these these leaders, man. Like, if you watching this, man, really getting class, man. Like, you talking about I just had to tell somebody. They like, oh, I want to hear from your perspective. This is my damn perspective. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, there's one mind over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? We move recording. Right. It's like, man, it's our job to help you, man. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, so don't think that you you gotta go through this by yourself. I, I tell, and, and I call them individual lights. Don't be an individual light, man. Individual You and the Lord don't like it, and you know. We we strongly together. That's a fact. That's a you know fact. what I'm saying? Nah, man, anything else you want to tell the people out there, man? Um, make sure, man, y'all 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 tune in to uh, Commander Jenny and Hannah uh, on radio show Black Watch every Monday, uh, Monday night, 9 a.m. You know what I mean? To 11 a.m. Uh, you know what I mean? Gentleman Hyman's class, uh, IHBK online classes. Uh, mon every Monday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Let the Hebrew speak. Cross the line radio, man. You know what I mean? Just subscribe. Get in these classes. You know what I mean? We here to serve you, man. This ain't for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, get in class, man. Come change your life. Come help save another life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Every brother and sister, man. Don't think, sisters, you know what I mean? You ain't saving nobody's life, man. Listen, I look, listen, the sisters in the school set a, a bar to me, man, when they deal with women in the world. I'm like, listen, yeah. you ain't moving like my sisters, man. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Right, fact. You know what I'm saying? So fact. sisters, man, just, you know what I mean? Come get in class, learn how to, you know what I mean? Be a positive, um, how, how, just be like something man. positive that other women could, you know what I mean, look up to. Right. And black men, you know what I'm saying? We got a huge job on our hands. You know what I'm saying? Boot up. I mean, ain't time to be sitting back, sitting on your behind, doing what you want to do, man. Come follow some orders. Come get some orders, man. You know what I mean? Let's go raise a nation. You yeah. know what I mean? That's not desired. Facts. I mean, that's all I got to say. Facts. Sir, I'm sign All right, man. You call me back on Not TV. Yeah, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to Doc TV, hey. man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Channel going heavy. I'll be looking at the comments. I'm like, dang, this joint going lit right hey. now. You be getting like thousands of views already. <laughs> you just started. I'm like, dang. Yeah, man. It's Doc TV, you know man. man. Doc TV, man. Get in tune, man. My Knock brother. yourself out. My you brother with the cub, man. We out this joint. <laughs> We got represent for the culture. Niggas coming out here with all this funny color hair, skinny jeans and shit. Fuck, fuck that, that nigga. Shit We're taking it back gay. to the fringes. Motherfucking spikes, nigga, representing for the Hebrews. It's you know real, angry nigga, black man media, it's nigga. We, we getting do. it in. We bringing that no, real man. shit black. I match my friend. guns with the sneaks. That's my fashion week. Go ask the streets. Dog, we got massive beef. We pass elite. Play this on blast, repeat. Let it go worldwide. Let the masses peep. I don't care if she thick or her ass petite. She yeah. want war with the D, she a casualty. Long as she don't got no limits like I'm Master P. Uh, Fucking uh, bitches! Uh, Who's big star? Uh, nigga, yeah.
Yeah. No, do that shit over again. Yeah. Yeah. One last time. Yeah. 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 You know I'm squeezing on triggers. My bullets hitting you, hitting you. Won't heal up with stitches. You don't want that. You don't want to get your skull cracked. Better tighten up when a nigga tell you fall back. Titties on a drum. You a sucker, give you all that. When you stand tall at, that's where you gon' fall at. Ah.